Let's turn this into this. Transforming your renders from good to stunning can be simpler than you think. It all starts with understanding and mastering one thing, lighting. Look at our starting point. Notice the shadows? Sharp, almost too precise. Real world lighting isn't usually this harsh. In reality, light doesn't come from a single unchanging source. It's dynamic, filled with subtleties and nuances. Take a look at the improved version here. The shadows gently fade, blending seamlessly into the light. Lighting in Blender offers endless possibilities. And while this trick isn't the be all and end all, its effectiveness is undeniable. Ready to see how it's done? First stop, the shading tab. Switch your focus from object to world. Here's where the magic begins. Add not one, but two sky textures. Set the sun rotation to match your scene's vibe, but keep one a couple degrees off. Here we have 30 and 32. It's all about creating depth. Dial down both textures' sun intensity to 0.5. For sun size, think contrast. Set one to five and the other to one. Adjust as needed to fit your scene's mood. Next, grab a mix color node. Connect your sky textures color to inputs A and B. Then, introduce a black body node for temperature control, ranging anywhere from 0 to 10,000. The lower the number, the warmer your scene will be. Merge the first mix color node with the black body node by adding another mix color node and channeling them into your background color. But we're not done yet. For that extra oomph, incorporate a light path node, a mix shader node, and another background node. Connect both the backgrounds to the mix shader and the is glossy ray on the light path to the fac on the mix shader. This will make the world more reflective. Select a hue for the second background color that complements your scene and connect this setup to the world output surface. And there you have it. Remember, this is just a glimpse into enhancing your renders with lighting. There's still a world of options out there like compositing and additional lighting setups. More on that next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Leave a comment if you need any help or if you enjoyed it.